guys, it's Lydia here from LA3D Printing and today we're going to be making a 3D printed camera slider. So let's get started. Alright guys, so pretty soon I will be doing a lot more reviews and I want some more good and awesome camera angles. So I've decided to uh, make some 3D printed parts with um, some brass tubing that I have and to create a um, camera slider that you can see those cool shots that are kind of moving but they're very smooth um, and I've designed them in Fusion 360 printed them out and then I'm going to be uh, creating this slider now and I'll show you guys um, my designs and then we'll be putting it all together sanding some things down and then checking out the um, the kind of angles and uh, quality it gets so let's get right to it and I'll show you guys what I have done so far Alright guys, so this is what I have done so far. Now these are all just parts, nothing is actually glued together. As you can see here, they are just printed. Now these were printed in um, Polymaker's True Red PLA, and I think they turned out really nice. The quality was great. They were all printed like this on the TiVo Tornado. Great print quality, everything turned out nice. And the slicer is um, Simplify 3D. Now I will have the printing information over here if you guys do decide to print these also um, as you can see down here there's a hole and this is where the screw will go so that you can put a mount on here for either a GoPro or um, a normal camera DSLR mount or whatever you want now these are actually printed I believe in 30 or 50 percent infill with triangle again using Simplify 3D um, and they also took 16 hours to print so I just printed them overnight and I think they turned out really nicely. And I designed all of these in Simplify 3D. Uh, only took a couple minutes and used some nice dimensions. And again, um, I using I'm using these brass um, rods. Now you can use anything you want. You can use PVC if you want. And um, I might also paint this depending on what it will look like after I'm done sanding it. Doesn't matter. Um, but again, I will be using steel wool to sand this just to make sure everything is smooth. And I will also be sanding the insides of these holes um, but then when we are done with this we will glue the sides on so everything is stable and making sure we have a nice smoothing um, mo motion and um, again these were just some extra in my shop uh, and all these dimensions are um, custom to these but it's really easy just to change them um, and I believe that they're 23 and a half that's the size of the holes um, because that's the size of these poles and they just slip right in there as you saw and then again they will be glued so let's start sanding this down and then we can put everything together okay so now that we have everything very very smooth moving um, and everything is sanded. Now I'm going to glue in one of the sides here, uh, glue the rods into it, um, let that dry and then we will, um, while we're waiting for that to dry, we will screw in the screw up here and then get everything ready for mounting. Alright, so what I have here is just a nut, um, or a bolt with some nuts on it. Now, I'm not sure if this will be enough to go through here, but I'm just going to screw it through the hole and then uh, see if there's enough room on it. And that's why we left this big hole so that um, we could use a longer screw instead of having to look for a little screw. So, let's see, it's tightened down, and it is sticking out right here and I think that's enough actually it might be too much um, but I can just move the nuts uh, but other than that that's it for this part and then now we're gonna let this keep drying and then okay so everything is glued um, I actually did glue both sides now I decided um, instead of pushing this to move it I made these little mounts that I will now screw on to this and then I will hook some uh, rope up to it so that I can pull it softly and smoothly to one side and then pull it back the other side uh, just to get a smoother look so I just designed these in 
uh, Fusion 360 really quick. Took about uh, maybe a minute, actually. I will have these linked in the description below. Also with these mounts, they will all just be one file. Um, so I'm just going to screw these in here really quick and um, then we can mount some rope onto it. Alright, so I finally put these on and I actually did have to use some uh, uh, JB Weld to get them to be really sturdy and now I'm just going to be using the same kind of string that I use for my prosthetics that I build um, and I'm just going to do some loops and I'll do a time lapse of that and then um, make it into uh, a whole handle. So um, now let me do that and I'll show you guys what I do. Now, as you guys can see, that uh, we have some handles now. Um, I might actually print some little knobs for this, not sure yet. But as you can see, it's nice, smooth, and I will be putting some more uh, lubrication stuff on here. Right now, I have some WD-40, um, which is just some spray that I actually sprayed inside the um, holes under here. But other than that, uh, it's very smooth, and now I'll show you guys an example of what it looks like. And... Um, yeah, so we're basically done with this, done with the building, um, so let's go show you guys what it looks like. Alright guys, so that is it for the build uh, today, and I think this thing turned out really nice, and it, uh, it actually looks kind of professional in my opinion. I think it looks really cool and nice and clean. I'm just going to clean up a little bit of the glue here that I kind of messed up. But other than that, it works just how I wanted it to. Simple and easy. And it basically cost me nothing because I had all these things around my house. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. I will actually try to upload the Fusion 360 um, models to Thingiverse for you guys to download. But also uh, to... Uh, download the files so you guys can edit them yourself if you have different type holes. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this and I think, uh, again, I, it turned out really cool and I hope you guys liked it. It's very easy and cheap and um, hopefully the new shots for my reviews and stuff will look really nice. Let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see me next build or create or just make a design of something. Uh, but yeah, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.